So I'm going to come to you after the question lands. Right now, we know statistically, more people are listening to more music than ever before. Yet the music industry for records, not in the greatest condition. But live concerts and live experience going strong. Why do you think the live concert experience is so strong now? How about that the world sucks in so many ways that the realm of escapism has never been more important? And for you to walk into an arena, to feel one with your tribe, to see a band that you've been following for a number of years, perhaps decades, to get into that space where there are no more wars and there are no more problems and there's no more d disease, how do you replace that experience? Well, that, to me, is the whole salvation as aspect of what rock and roll is about, what music is about. The live experience is the artist bringing you into that mystical, magical place that you can't get to at home, on your stereo, or in the car on the radio. you got to be there because it is a tribal thing. And I think that's why rock and roll has always been and careers have always been established out on the road. It starts in a van with four guys playing cities where the only people showing up are the sound man and the, and the club owner. But that doesn't matter, because if you've got the goods, you will play like you're playing in front of a stadium every single night. I watched these careers grow over the last 25 years of my life, and then as a fan, all the way back to the early 70s when I saw my first concert, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, and before 1972, which became the four-way street album, by the way. And it, it, it is it is something that the Europeans understand, that the Asians understand. They keep going to the concert. They may not buy the records, but they keep going to the concert. And that's why careers subsist. That's what's beautiful about these heritage bands that can still go out there in their 60s. Hey, I'm excited to go see REO Speedwagon in a couple of weeks, because I know Kevin Cronin's going to kick ass. He's going to sing those songs like he sang them 30 years ago. And the women may be older, maybe a little bit more damaged than they were back the first time they heard him sing, they're gonna keep on loving him. But no one's gonna be in any pain in that crowd. For that hour and a half, two hours, everybody's gonna feel good. And everybody's gonna feel at peace. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about.